been aroused. In such a big affair as the combined home and Mediterranean fleet exercise sea lance, it's only possible to give impressions. Here, for example, arriving aboard the aircraft carrier Albion in a whirlwind helicopter is Admiral of the Fleet Sir Roderick McGregor, First Sea Lord. Next, an impression of naval jets and the modern method of short run, high speed takeoff. replenishment at sea is obviously so important a job that it must be carried out efficiently in any weather by day or night. This glimpse of a fleet oiler at work is followed by the return of the jet fighters. Yacht Britannia, aboard which the Duke watched the exercises, played her part as a hospital ship, and now she leads the fleet into harbour at Malta. The depot ship HMS Tyne was wearing the flag of Admiral Sir Michael Denny, CNC home fleet. Cruisers and other warships followed. Duke of Edinburgh, who must certainly have enjoyed this naval occasion, landed at Malta. The Duke and the George Cross Island are old friends, of course, and there was a warm reception for him. Also present were naval officers representing a number of NATO countries. His Royal Highness had a friendly chat with many of them soon after coming ashore. <laughs> 